Number one says that we have a pyramid that has a height of five inches and a volume of 60 inches. Select all figures that could be the base for the pyramid. So first thing we should look at is um, the volume formula, which is area of the base times the height divided by three for a pyramid. They gave us the height and they gave us the volume. So let's solve for the base so we know what the base area needs to be. So we know that the volume is 60. We're looking for the base area. We know the height is five and then divided by three. So let's first multiply um, both sides by three. So that'll get us to 180 equals B times five. Then we'll be able to divide by five and we'll find out that if our base area is equal to um, 36, then that's going to equal out to a volume of 60. Okay, so this is the base area that we're looking for. So a square with side lengths of six, this gives us a base area of six squared, which is 36. So this one is good. A three by four rectangle is going to be three times four for the base area, which is 12. So that's not going to work. A rectangle that's four by nine. So four times nine for the area is 36. That's good. Circle with a radius of four is going to be four squared times pi for the area. So r squared pi, which is 16 pi. So that's not going to work. A right triangle with one side of five inches and a hypotenuse of 13. So this one we're going to have to solve um, for the other leg here um, using Pythagorean theorem. So 13 squared is 169 um, and then 5 squared is 25 plus that missing side. So subtract 25 from both sides. And we get 144 is equal to that missing side squared. So if we square root, we get 12. So then when we go to find the area, it's going to be 12 times 5 divided by 2 for a triangle. So this is um, 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So that's not going to work. And then um, the last one says a hexagon with an area of 36 inches, so that's gonna, or 36 square inches, so that's going to be good. Number two, a company makes a block of cheese in the shape of a rectangular prism with dimensions of four by two by two. They um, want to make a new block in the same rectangle in the same shape, but a rectangular pyramid. Um, that uses the same amount of cheese. Determine two sets of possible dimensions for the pyramid. So we're going to need to figure out um, the volume of this original. So the rectangular prism, remember, is area of the base times the height. And so we'll just multiply really all of these because if we use the 4 times 2 as the base and then the other 2 as the height. So we want a volume of 16 inches cubed. So this is the volume that we want for the pyramid. Now remember that volume in this case is equal to area of the base times the height divided by 3. And we want this to equal out to um, 16. So if we want this to equal out to 16, that means if we multiply this um, 3 up here, that our base area times our height needs to equal 48. Okay, so whatever our base area is for this, and it's a rectangular pyramid, so we have a rectangle. So we need our rectangle's area times our height to be 48. Okay, so if we said let's do a height of 2, then our base area would need to be 24. So I could do 3 by 8, and 3 times 8 is... Um, 24. So we could have those dimensions. Okay, if we wanted to keep the height of 2, we could also have these dimensions be 4 by 6, in which case 4 times 6 is 24 times 2 is the 48, divided by 3 gave, gives us a volume of 16. So that's kind of two possible 
dimensions. Number three, select all solids with a volume of 40 cubic units. Okay, so we'll do area of the base times the height here. So area of the base is 20 times the height, which is 2, gives us 40. So solid A does. For a pyramid, we're going to be doing area of the base, which is 8, times the height, which is 5, divided by 3. So this one is 40 divided by 3, so that's not going to work. Area of the base, 15, times the height, divided by 3. So 15 times 8 divided by 3 is 40, so C is good. Area of the base here, so we've got this triangle. Okay, so the area of our base is going to be 5 times 4 divided by 2. 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. Then the volume is going to be the area of the base, which is 10, times the height, which is 12. And it's a pyramid, so we're going to divide by 3. And 10 times 12 divided by 3 is 40, so this one's going to be good. Um, and then this one is a cylinder, so we're going to do area of the base. So our circle is going to be... Um, r squared, so 2 squared is 4 times pi. This is our area of our base. So we're going to do area of the base times the height for the volume. And these pi's will drop out, so then this volume will be 40. And then area of the base times the height for this one, so we're going to be doing 30 times 4. That's going to be bigger than 40. Number four, find the volume of a pyramid, or sorry, the volume of a pyramid is 50 cubic units. Um, the base is a square with side lengths of five. So our base is going to, our base area is going to be five times five. So our base area is 25. What's the height going to be? So remember for volume, it's area of the base times the height divided by three. We know the volume is 50, we know the base area is 25, and we're looking for the height. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of this 3. So this is going to be 150 equals 25H, divide by 25, and we'll get that H equals 6. Number five, we have a cone and a cylinder that have the same radius and height. The volume of the cone is 100 pi cubic feet. What's the volume of the cylinder? So remember for the cylinder, it's volume equals area of the base times the height. And for the cone, it's that divided by three. So the cone is one third of the cylinder volume. So if we know the cone volume is 100 pi, We'll multiply it by 3, and that will give us our cylinder volume of 300 pi um, and then feet cubed. Number 6, a solid can be constructed with two congruent triangles and three rectangles. Name the solid. So if we have two triangles, these are our bases. And then they're being connected by three rectangles. So that's going to be a prism. And the base shape is the triangle. So that's going to be a right triangular prism. Number seven, an oblique cylinder with a base radius three is shown. Okay, so then this radius here is three. The top cylinder... Uh, the top of the cylinder can be obtained by translating the base by a directed line segment of 6 square root 2. So this A to B is 6 square root 2. The segment AB forms an 85, or sorry, a 45 degree angle with the plane of the base. So this is 45 degrees. 
what's the volume so they're giving us or they're trying to give us a 45 45 90 triangle here so we can see we've got this kind of plane here is 45 we need the height of this oblique cylinder in order to be able to find the volume so that's what we're going to be looking for and that creates this little um right triangle here a 45 45 90 right triangle so if you remember um the scale factor here between the leg and the hypotenuse is that the hypotenuse is the leg times the square root of two so if we have the hypotenuse, we divide by the square root of 2 to get the leg. So if the hypotenuse is 6 root 2, then the leg is just 6. So then that's going to be our height. And so when we go to find the volume, we'll do area of the base. And that's a circle. So we've got pi times the radius squared. So we've got 3 squared times pi. So area of the base and then times the height of the cylinder, which we just found out was 6. So the volume is going to be 9 pi times 6, which is 54 pi cubic units. Number 8, my Andre and Lynn are discussing the volume of a scaled box. The original box holds 7 cubic inches. The new box holds 448 cubic inches. Mai thinks that the scale factor is 4. Andre thinks that the scale factor is 16. And Lynn thinks it's 64. Do you agree with any of them? Explain your reasoning. So remember when we compare new volume, okay, over original volume, Volumes are going to give us our scale factor cubed back, okay? So in this case, we have our new volume at 448 and our original volume at 7. So 448 divided by 7 gives us 64. That's where Lynn's getting the 64, but this is our k cubed. So now we're going to have to cube root this in order to figure out what our actual k is. So k is going to equal 4, since 4 times 4 times 4 gives us 64. So this is our scale factor. Okay, so then we agree with my. And then the 16 is 4 squared. This would be our area factor. Okay, and then the 64 is the volume factor.